You can't open it? What's the code? You'll never know. Guess. Knowing you, it's like one, two, three, four. Amber, I'm gonna have to bleep that out now. Stop it. Show me your soul. Baby, I'll show you mine. Show me your soul. Honey, it's way past time. How explicit do I have to be? Need I spell it out before you get it, baby? Show me your soul. And honey, I'll show you. I'll show you mine. It actually hasn't really been nice enough for us to sit out here for a while now, so good thing we put the balcony together. Am I eating this croissant weird? I don't know. Is there is there a way to eat croissants? I'm asking you. Sundays. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. First minute of the video going great. So Sundays were like one of the biggest adjustments at least I had to make when I moved to Germany. And the reason being because everything is closed on Sundays here. And that might be common in some places in America, but I mean like everything is closed. Except for restaurants, so not everything. Grocery stores, uh, the normal stuff like post offices and everything, but all retail is closed, all of it. So you can't go shopping on Sundays, you can't really run any errands on Sundays, which is what I think a lot of people in the States do at least. I don't know why I ever try to record out here, it's just like train sounds, people throwing recycling away, there's a construction site across the street, this isn't a good, this isn't a good spot to do this. So why is everything closed? Well, everything is closed because Germany is still heavily influenced by Christianity, even though they're like not that Christian of a nation anymore. Germany's a pretty secular nation, uh, all things considered, but the tradition of everything being closed on Sundays obviously stemmed from Christian traditions, which they... <laughs> it's so funny because most people would say that America is like a much more christian influenced nation but the only thing we worship on sundays are the nfl and the usd baby oh i bit my cheek oh it's the worst i might as well just pack it up and go back to bed horrible way to start the day well hopefully my sunday's gonna go better than me biting my cheek trying to eat a croissant like a neanderthal I'm getting crumbs everywhere. There's crumbs all over the place. I thought I was going to be cute. Oh, he lives in Europe now. He's eating croissants every Sunday for breakfast. What a joke. But basically, because everything's closed, you kind of have to figure it out for yourself on Sundays here. And I've grown to really like that. When we first got here, I was really annoyed by this whole Sunday thing. But now, I actually like it a lot. I feel like you can kind of dig into your hobbies. It forces you to be intentionable, intentionable. It forces you to be intentionable. It forces you to be intentional about what you're doing with your day. Now, it's still fine to do nothing, but I like to choose to do nothing. But today we're not doing nothing. We're doing something. We're doing multiple things. So once I finish this croissant and clean up the absolute mountain of crumbs that I've built over here. Oh my god, it's ever oh. That's that croissant drift. That croissant dandruff. Once I finish this croissant, we're gonna go ride bikes. We're gonna paint. I'm not gonna paint. Amber's gonna paint. And we're gonna make something of this Sunday. We're gonna make something of ourselves. I don't know if we are. We're, I mean, we're just going to do stuff. If you want to come along, you just keep watching.
The bike should be right over here, right around the corner. Amber's riding the new family bike, but then we're gonna rent her one. Family? This is my one. <laughs> the is so Can you tell we're really good at riding bikes? <laughs> We've ridden bikes a lot lately. This is probably my first time. This it was my first time. Well, no, I guess we we rode bikes in California. Oh God, for like, like a seven. year ago. So this is the, the my second time in the last like five years riding bikes. I think so. Take a right. It should be like right up the street. We're gonna pop around the city. Wow, it's really windy. If we don't get Jesus. If we don't get blown off our bicycles, we're gonna try and ride to the Hafen, which is a really, it's at the harbor here in Düsseldorf. It's really cool. And it's not our neighborhood, which makes it extra good. Will this hold? Will it hold? Maybe. This is looking for Carrie. <laughs> you like this? You'll meet the family bike in another video. Yeah. Is she moving? We're off. She's going, so now we gotta catch up. Slow down. Slow down. Of course I lost Amber because I had to film some video and she went and got some vegan food. So now I have to go find her. She's around here somewhere though. To make sure you guys get at least some sort of educational segment out of this. The Hafen that we're in right now is, the full name is the Median Hafen, which is Media Harbor. Basically it was this harbor in Dusseldorf that they started developing to be offices and tech companies and creative agencies. So now when you come to Dusseldorf, this place is totally renovated, super modern. It's definitely the most modern part of Dusseldorf. This is actually where the famous Frank Gehry buildings are. If you just type in Dusseldorf right now, if you're not from here and you don't know this already, but basically every first picture you see will be of these buildings right here. People thought they were super ugly when they first built them. I think a lot of people still do. I think they're awesome though. Zotgrun. That's the place. This place slaps. Slap. It absolutely slaps. Slaps in meters and the base while it's flavor. <laughs> Vegan forever. If you're so inclined, this is actually a great spot to sit and have a little drink on a Sunday. We're not gonna do that because we have to get onto our bikes and ride back home. This is probably the easiest place in all of Germany to vlog because <laughs> the Medienhafen is influencer central. There's a million people around here all the time just taking pictures and videos. It's probably the only place in Dusseldorf that I don't feel weird walking around with a camera. But I am like the ugliest person with a camera around here. That's the one downfall.
So why make this video? Why about Sundays? Why do any of this? <laughs> well, I wish I had a profound reason for you, but I actually don't. I would not consider this any sort of self-help video. Don't take it as that. Just take it as me telling you to do something you give a shit about. And at the end of the day, at the end of the Sunday, you'll be happy about it. You'll feel a little bit better. And you don't have to be in Germany to do that. I'll show you mine.